Asun Gomez Bueno takes care to keep the photos of her husband in a safe place. The important memories of him, the time they spent together and the challenges they had to overcome, especially after her husband Luis started the fight against an aggressive type of multiple sclerosis. The disease was devastating for him. It destroyed him within only 10 years until he died. He was in great pain. It was so bad that he couldn't even stand the weight of the bed linen on his skin. And the pain got worse. There was no drug that could have helped him even a little. But the worst thing was, and that is what he always said, that there was no dignity in his life anymore. He was completely dependent on others. He didn't have any freedom anymore. He wasn't able to do anything by himself except move his head. Luis de Marcos passed away four years ago. All the while he was fighting for the legalization of euthanasia in Spain. He wanted the right to end his life in dignity. Asun Gomez Bueno has continued her husband's fight, together with many others, until they were listened to. In March, Spain became the fourth country in the EU to approve euthanasia, supported by a clear majority in Parliament. A historic moment. The law is now in effect. The Association for a Dignified Death estimates that in densely populated regions like Madrid there could be one application for euthanasia per day. Most applicants will probably be people who have an advanced form of cancer and only a few months left to live, or those who have severe heart, lung or kidney disease and who would also die within months. There's still a lot to learn about the new law, says Fernando Marín. Only people who are incurably ill and suffer unreasonable hardship can make a request for euthanasia. People with mental illnesses are excluded. Before the request is approved, several doctors and a commission need to discuss each case, an intentionally long process designed to avoid mistakes. The new law also means that doctor-assisted death won't have to stay hidden in the shadows anymore. There was a survey once in Spain, and 15% of doctors admitted that they already had helped someone at some point. And then there were also doctors who said that they would do it again, because they saw it as their duty. Some conservative politicians have criticized the law for putting lives in the hands of authorities. The Catholic Church rejects euthanasia too. And that resistance is why it took years for the law to be passed. For Asun Gómez Bueno, an unnecessary wait. Everyone wants to be alive. Those who ask for the permission to end their lives do it because they are already tremendously detached from their lives because there is no solution for their suffering. For her husband, the law comes too late, but his wife is sure that he would be pleased to hear that from now on a self-determined death is legal in Spain.